Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. So today's gonna be, I think this is part four of my single eyeshadow declutter. Could be wrong, it's been a while since I filmed these videos. But my baby is now 10 weeks. He will be 11 weeks tomorrow, which is July 3rd. So yeah, I haven't had a whole lot of time to film. He's taking a nap right now, so we'll see how far I get with this declutter. But I wanted to declutter this drawer right here, and honestly, this has a lot of high-end eyeshadows. I don't know how many of these I will declutter, to be honest with you. I don't think I'm gonna do too well. So let's just go ahead and check it out. <sighs> Not all of them are high-end, but a lot of them are. So I have these Essence ones. So these obviously are not high-end, but these are the Essence Metals eyeshadows. And I actually really like these. These are um, pretty nice. So that one even makes a beautiful highlight if you're fair. So that one is called Vanilla Brilliance. I'm keeping these, I think most of these anyway. One's Rose Razzle Dazzle. I'm not even sure if they sell these anymore. Can you guys see? I hope you guys can see. This one makes a beautiful highlight as well. This one is called Ballerina Glam. I'm just gonna swatch these because I'm trying to see if I want to keep them all. This is chocolate frosting. Yeah, that's really pretty. I'm gonna keep that. I think I'm gonna keep all of these. They have a really nice smooth texture. Deep Sea Shimmer. Yeah, so I'm gonna just keep all of these for now because I do really like the formula of these. They're really nice. You can use them wet or dry. They do have a nice, like, soft texture softer than some other like baked shadows. So, and then I have a couple more. This one's a duplicate. Um, the reason is, I think because when I ordered these from the Essence website a long time ago, I think a couple of them shattered and then they resent them and they shattered again and they literally shattered three different times that they shipped them. So when they shipped them the fourth time, I asked them if they would bubble wrap each individual shadow because it's ridiculous that they kept breaking every time they shipped them. So they individually bubble wrapped each one and they sent me a couple extras. <clears throat> like I think they sent an extra one of these. So I really like this one as a face highlight. I actually might move one of these to my face highlighter drawers because I like it like that. And then I have these ones right here. These are the velvets from Essence. These are really nice too. They have a nice smooth texture and I really like this color a lot. It's like a mauve. This one's called Your Better Mauve. You Better Mauve. And then that's like a pink. They do have a nice velvety texture to them. And again, I like this color as well. It's kind of cool toned. Um, I hope you guys can see. Let's see there. That's probably better. But yeah, I'm gonna keep all of these. I like these as well. I just need to pull them out and use them. So I have this one from Note Cosmetics and this is number 13. It's the Luminous Silk Mono Eyeshadow. This is actually really pretty. I got this free with a purchase from Ulta a long time ago. See how pretty that is? I'm gonna keep that shade. I have a bunch of these Sephora ones. Um, these I might declutter some. I'm gonna declutter this little Urban Decay one. This is in Mushroom. I have the full size, so I don't need this little one. So these are the older Sephora shadows, and then their newer ones are like smaller ones like this. So I'm gonna go through the older ones just because I've had these for a long time. And they probably don't have a lot of these shades anymore. Oops, I'm watching that right over the top of the other one. Um, I think I'm gonna get rid of that one. It's a pretty taupe, but I'm sure I have some better ones in my collection. All right, so this one, so over the years, the packaging has changed, as you can see. This one is Purple Casino. It has that really pretty shift. I'm gonna keep that. It's not super pigmented, but it has a pretty purple-blue shift. So I'm gonna keep that one. This one I'm gonna keep, it's Early Frost. Just a nice frosty shade. Kinda has a little bit of a blue shift to it. This is another purple and it's called Night Owl. That's a cool purple. Mm. 
That one, I think I'm gonna keep that. It's pretty cool. It has a little bit of shimmer in it, but it's not like a sheen. It's kind of like a matte shadow with micro shimmers in it. It's a really pretty shade of purple. I'm gonna keep that for now. I think I'm gonna keep the rest of these. This one's really pretty too. Like it has a pretty shift. It's not the most pigmented, but you can build it up, but it has such a like pretty green purple shift. I don't even think they sell these anymore, these shades. And I really like their mattes. Um, this one's more like a satin, but that one, I really like that cool tone shade. I'm not gonna tell you all the names just cause we'd be for, here forever. That's a really pretty one. <sighs> Keep that one. That's pretty too. I do like the mattes. Like that one's a pretty color. Oh, I'm so sorry. It's hard to film these videos and make everything in focus. That one's really pretty. I'm gonna keep that. And then I'm pretty sure I'm gonna keep the rest of these. Like these are cool tone shades that I know I like. And I just, I like the matte ones. Yeah, that's a pretty color. Some of them are smoother than others, but uh, that's a really pretty color. Like, I love these mauve tones. Will you focus? Yeah, I like those mauve shades. They're really pretty. This one, ooh. Yeah, that's, that's gorgeous. I'm not telling you all the names just because I don't think you can find most of these anymore. Sephora always changes them up. They're single shadows. What I should do is depot them. I could depot them because you can um, pop them out and then put them in a palette. So I might have to do that just so I can free up some space. But um, yeah, I think I'm gonna keep all of those. This one's more like a glitter one. That's really pretty though, I'm gonna keep that. Um, this is a little Sephora shadow, um, a mini one. I'm just gonna get rid of that. It's like a sparkly black. It is pretty, but do I need it? No, because I don't really do smoky eyes too often. Okay, I have this brand new MAC Pro Longwear eyeshadow. They discontinued this uninterrupted, but then I thought they brought it back. I'm not sure about that, but I know I have another one. I'm just gonna keep this. We're just gonna keep it. Oh, I have some more sh Sephora shadows. This is their newer packaging. Um, yeah, I'm gonna keep these ones. Yeah, I like these, they're all mattes and I, I like the formula on these ones. Here's another Sephora mini. It's another one of those like really shimmery ones. That's really pretty, but I'm gonna go ahead and get rid of it. And I don't know why my camera will not focus. It is beautiful, but I'm just gonna get rid of that. I have this eyeshadow from MAC that I clearly have never used, Silver Dawn. It's probably from a limited edition collection. I don't even know if I wanna use this. Let's just watch it. Let's just go for it. It's one of the extra dimension shadows. Mm. It's a cool tone shade. I'll keep it for now, but I don't know if I love that. I'll keep it for now, I'll use it, and if I don't like it, I'll get rid of it. I have a little mini Buxom eyeshadow in here. This one's really pretty, but I think I have this in a full size, so I'm gonna get rid of this. This is called Mink Mink Magnet. It's a really pretty, like, taupey brown, taupey bronze, but I know I have this, I know I have it somewhere else. So I'm gonna get rid of that. I have this Japanese eyeshadow. This one's the Velvet Touch eyeshadow, and it's number five, and it's a cool tone shade. I used to be obsessed with taupes. Oh yeah, that's so pretty. I just need to pull out my singles. I wanna keep that, it's really pretty. I don't know why my camera is having such a hard time focusing. There we go. But I'm gonna keep that for now. I have these from Elle. I got these at Kohl's a long, long time ago. I think I'm just gonna go ahead and get rid of these, although they're very pretty colors. 
I just probably won't grab, grab for them, so I'm gonna get rid of these. I have these from NARS. This is Mississippi Mermaid. It's a limited edition shade. That's really pretty. I'm gonna go ahead and keep that. This one is Bali, which is just like a deep, smoky brown. I'm gonna keep that. That's another brown. The other one's more cool tone. This one's a little bit more, I would say, neutral, but it's really deep. I like that. You can wear that as an eyeliner. So that one is called Coconut Grove, Ashes to Ashes. Didn't I just get rid of one? The Sephora one I feel like looks very similar. Eh, they're a little bit similar. I don't know. I'm gonna keep it for now. This one is called Strata. It's this pretty purple with like gold flecks in there. My hand's kind of wet, so it's kind of like sticking in one spot. That's a really pretty unique shade. These are really pretty from Laura Mercier. These are the Gilded Platinum eyeshadow. No, the Illuminating Eye Colors. This is Gilded, Gilded Platinum. Do you guys remember these? These are beautiful. I'm keeping all of them. Look at that. Oh, yes. That is so gorgeous. Two of those. This one is Gilded Bronze. They have a really nice texture to them. Okay, and then I have some Burberry ones here. These are the Sheer Eyeshadow. This is Pale Barley. Oh yeah, these I used to like. These are pretty too. But I just, now I don't think they're anything special. Like, it's kind of sheer. See, like that color is similar to some of those other ones that I used, but it's just like a satin finish and I prefer something super metallic. I'm gonna put these in the maybe pile. I don't know, they're not wowing me. I have these really old Victoria's Secret shadows that I know I'm not getting rid of. These were the met metalized eyeshadows and they're so freaking beautiful. Like I can't part with these. I just can't part with those. Nope, not parting with them, they're beautiful. And then I have these from Stila, which I also have some Stila palettes, but um, let's see. So this is Kitten, a classic, love it, keeping it, it's beautiful. This one is one of those um, jewel eyeshadows, and this is an opal. So this is more like a um, very sparkly shadow. That would be a pretty highlight, but um, I'm gonna keep that one. This one is called Cloud. It's kind of a unique shade. It's like a taupe, but almost like a silvery taupe. I'm gonna keep that. It's really pretty too. This one is like a beautiful purple. It's called Amethyst. Yeah, that's it's one of those jewel eyeshadows. Look how pretty that is. Oh, gorgeous. I am so sorry, but my camera does not want to focus on anything. Come on. There we go. See how pretty that is? I'm keeping it. This one is called Golden Topaz. I'm keeping that one too. Really pretty. Okay, and then I have these two from Tarte, and these are really pretty. These are the Tartist Metallic Shadows. This one is so pretty. It's poker face. I love that. It's like a purple, oh, gorgeous. And then this one is grind. That one's a cool tone shade. I'm gonna keep that one. This is from Lancome, Timeless Taupe. Oh, I remember this. This is old, but it's still really pretty and it smells fine. So I have this one from Victoria's Secret. This is so old. Look how pretty that is. Oh, how can I get rid of that? I'm gonna keep this. Okay, and then I have these NARS eyeshadows. These were the 
dual intensity shadows. I'm gonna keep all of these. They're really, really pretty. I need to pull them out. Yeah, I need to keep, I need to pull those out. They're beautiful. And then these are the gorgeous ones from Sephora from a long time ago. Um, these are not even opened. I used to love these. They were called the Outrageous Prisma Chrome. These are really old, but I have never opened them. And I already have these and I got backups when they were discontinuing them because I love them that much, but I've never opened them. So I'm gonna get rid of these. I'll probably put them in a giveaway or something. I really need to do a giveaway. I keep saying that and I just never get around to it, but I have a whole box full of stuff to give away. Um, okay, so these are MAC and I think I'm gonna get rid of some of these, like this one, this one, this one. My aunt gave me some of these and I just don't use them. So Blue Sheen, Fox Gold, Style Driven, Yeah, there's just nothing special about this. So this is Pink Frontier, Rare Find, Play on Plums. This one is Deeply Dashing. That one's pretty, but I think I'm gonna get rid of it because I have that one from Sephora, which was a little prettier, I think, so. Keep your cool. Um, lie low. Oh, I'm gonna get rid of that. I'm gonna get rid of this. I'm gonna get rid of all these Mac ones. Teas with ease. Legendary black. Yeah, I'm just getting rid of all of these MAC ones. I just, I'm not gonna use them. Another MAC shadow. I'm never gonna use this. Cranberry. Yeah, I'm not gonna keep that. This one is the Body Shop eyeshadow and it sucks. I, I just don't like it. So I'm getting rid of that. Oh, this is from Jouer. This is, these are pretty. I don't remember what this was called, but it's like some mermaid collection. Those I'm keeping. They're individuals, but you just link them together. Look how pretty these are. I just need to pull that out. That is so beautiful. Oh my goodness, yes. Okay, so this is from Kat Von D and this is called Thunderstruck. This is beautiful, I love this. Definitely keeping that. I don't know if you can see, it has like a pink, gold, pinky shift. It's really pretty. So I'm keeping that one. This is by Le Metier de Butte. Not even sure how you say that. This was a super expensive, and I'm gonna keep that for now. It's a pretty taupey color. I know I have a lot of these, but I like those shades. I used to like them more back in the day, but I need to pull them out because I love cool tone shadows. So I have these Napoleon Perdice eyeshadows that I think are really pretty. So this is Amazon Jungle. They used to sell this at Ulta a long time ago, so I'm gonna keep that. I'm gonna get rid of this one. This one is Green Living. This is a taupe. I'm keeping that. Yeah, I know, I have a lot of taupes, I know, but I'm just, can't help it, I'm keeping that one. And, I'll keep that one. It's like a purpley shade, it's called High Voltage Violet. And then, this one's my favorite out of all of them. It's the smoothest in texture, and it has a really pretty shimmer to it, and it's called Sparkling Bubbly. Gorgeous color, so I'm gonna keep these here. These Sephora ones right here that I got a long time ago, these are the Prisma Chrome. Um, I'm gonna get rid of this one. I just don't like super orangey shadows on me. I'm gonna get rid of that one too. This one. Oh, that one's really pretty. Um, this is the only one I'm gonna keep. I'm gonna get rid of these other two. This one's Moonbeam. 
All right, so these are all those Sephora ones that I kept and I was getting rid of the other ones that I had not opened yet, but these are really, really pretty and they're super old that I can't part with them. I really like them, so I'm gonna keep them. And I have some cargo ones here. Um, the thing with the cargo ones, I just hate that you can't see what's inside because of the packaging. This is Pasadena. I don't know, this is maybe, oh, that one I'm throwing away. I think this is, pa yeah, this one's a Pasadena that broke, I'm throwing that out. Morton Bay, ooh, that is beautiful purple. I'm gonna keep that one. Yukon, another taupe, guys. I have a problem with taupes. I really should separate my eyeshadows by shade. That might help make me decide what I wanna keep and what I wanna get rid of. Um, Provence, Provence, I'm gonna keep this purpley one. You guys know purple's my favorite color, so. That's really pretty. This one's Columbia. This one's kind of similar to that NARS one. I'm gonna keep it for now. Saint Tropez. Oh yeah, this one's a really pretty color. It's kind of like throw it on and go. I'm gonna keep that one. This is Shanghai. Oh, that's really pretty. Oh yeah, Shanghai is beautiful. I'm gonna keep that. Okay, so let's go back to this one, Pasadena. This would make a really pretty blush. I'm gonna go ahead and keep this and I might try it as a blush because you know, I need it. <laughs> this is Cyprus. I think this is the last one. That's pretty too. I'm gonna keep that. And then I have more of these unopened ones from Napoleon Purtis, but I'm gonna get rid of the rest of these four here because they're unopened and I will maybe do a giveaway with these as well. And then I have like all these Urban Decay ones here and I have some Kiko Milano ones. Let's just go through the Kiko ones. 203. I did a whole video on these. These are their water eyeshadows wet and dry, long lasting wet and dry eyeshadows. And I wrote the names at the top because they're not on the actual packaging. Oh, I'm keeping this one for sure. That's champagne plum. I'm gonna put some to the side that I'm not sure about yet. This one is golden mauve. This is lavender and this is pretty unique. I'm gonna keep that color. Light taupe. Yeah, that's kind of unique too. This eggplant I might get rid of. I don't use really dark shades that much anymore. This one is really pretty. Dark slate green. Oh, that's beautiful. I just don't use a lot of these shades. This is sepia. I'm gonna get rid of that. Chocolate, light gold, I'm gonna keep this. This is supposed to be a dupe for Heat Wave, I think, or something like that. Pearly Coffee. It's really, really pretty. Not sure though. I just don't wanna keep so many dark shades. This one's a taupe, and it's like a purpley taupe, so I'm gonna keep that one. This one's Moonstone, it's pretty unique. Um, uh, it's kind of like a silvery blue, baby blue. I think I'll keep that one. I'm gonna get rid of this one. Okay, so that one I'm getting rid of for sure. This is Rosy Taupe. Uh, I'm gonna get rid of Rosy Taupe. Okay, let me go back through these. really pretty but I'm gonna get rid of it. It's chocolate. I'm gonna get rid of sepia. Dark slate green. I'm gonna keep that one. It's really pretty. Getting rid of the purple. 
plum. You guys, I just don't wear dark shades like this that often. Although it's really pretty, I'm gonna get rid of that. And I'm sorry I'm not even paying attention if I'm in focus. This is Golden Mauve. Oh, it's pretty unique. I'm gonna get rid of that. I don't just, mm -mm. And I'm gonna get rid of that burgundy. Okay. I'm trying to decide if I should really keep that. It's. Uh, I'm gonna get rid of this Moonstone. Um, okay, so these Urban Decay ones are the last ones. Probably gonna keep a lot of these. I really should depot them. I don't know if I can actually. Oh, I think you can pop these out. Oh, but you have, they have that darn pan. I hate that. Okay, so I'm gonna keep Beware. Oh, I'm gonna keep that, it's beautiful. That is Lounge. I think I'm gonna get rid of all of these old ones. These are like the old, like the oldest, oldest packaging. These are really pretty, I haven't even used this one. It's baked, half baked. I haven't used that one either. And uh, Aquarius. I'm gonna get rid of these three here. So I love these right here. These are the, um, what are these ones called? I don't know, these are like the shimmery, sparkly ones. I'm gonna keep this one, it's called Cosmic. This one is Intergalactic. Really beautiful purpley one. Here's another one, this is my favorite, Solstice. You guys, this is like a must. It's beautiful. Okay, this is a Lost. I'm gonna keep Lost. Like I don't have to swatch these because I know that I like some of them. It's really pretty and unique. I'm gonna keep that. It's Backfire. ACDC. Yeah, that's a beautiful purple. Stray Dog I'm keeping. This is Mushroom. Yeah, Mushroom I'm keeping. Desperation, keeping, this one's really pretty for the crease. It's called Laced, keeping, sorry I'm not swatching everything because it's gonna be such a long video. Chase, yeah, that one's a really pretty color. I'm gonna keep that too. I love these, the formula on these old ones. This one I'm probably getting rid of, Fireball. I just don't see myself using that. It's really pretty, it's like a pinky orange shift but I know I'm not gonna use it, so I'm gonna get rid of that. This one is beautiful and it is called Tonic. It's like that purpley blue shift that I love. This one is Easy Baked. I'm gonna keep that beautiful color. Dive Bar. Yeah, I'm gonna keep Dive Bar. That's a pretty cool color. And free love. I'll keep free love since I got rid of fireball. I think this color is prettier in my opinion. It's more corally. And lastly, riff. I'll keep riff. Okay, so that's it for this drawer. All right guys, so this is my drawer after all of these shadows fit. Um, and I don't have all these excess ones over here, so I'm really happy about that. I actually got rid of a lot more than I thought I was gonna do. Yeah, I think I'm gonna get rid of all three of these Burberry shadows. I just, I don't think there's anything special about them. And they were expensive, so I'm gonna try to sell them. If anybody's interested, let me know. All right, so let's count up all the ones that I'm getting rid of. So 
getting rid of 51 single shadows just from this drawer. I did not think I was going to do that good. So I'm very proud of myself. So again, thank you guys so much for watching this video. I'm sure I have another drawer full of singles that I need to do. Probably one more, maybe two, I don't know. Um, so thank you guys so much for watching. And if you wanna see the rest of the videos in this series, I will link it down below. Thank you guys for watching. I love you guys, have a great day, bye.